we should be going live we just waited for confirmation and there we are awesome 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 good morning everyone hope you're doing well today is august 20th 2020 we're almost at the end of the summer well, we got one more month to go but wow this year has been crazy summer's just flown by right and we're doing an unscheduled live stream and it's comic book hall live stream uncharted days how are you doing i'm doing well it's a little chilly here today i'm wearing my toque the toque is back without the summer being over the toque is already back so it's a little chilly it's raining it's nice though it is nice for sure for sure and um, basically i had a comic book haul come in yesterday and there was actually another care package that came in yesterday as well so we're gonna do a comic book haul live stream uh, i'm unboxing and i'm gonna do a care package uh, opening that has been sent to us from ripper and he requested someone in portugal to send it to us so this thing's come its way through portugal I just picked up my comics from my pull list just before we went live awesome awesome you're a day late you picked it up on thursday they come out uh, in my area well dc's uh, uh what do you call her they're shipping on tuesdays now marvel everybody else is on wednesday uh sometimes there's delays of course there's holidays and stuff uh slick mick finally back able to catch a stream awesome slick awesome hope you're doing well aren't trying today so what's on what's on your pull list baron 13 how are you doing wow i'm actually home and not working for a stream almost always catch them on youtube afterwards okay awesome great to have you being home and doing a comic book live stream is a, is a great thing comics knights of old comics how are you doing congrats on the power pack full set power pack full set wait a second who got the power pack full set power pack full set do, do, do. is that on charter days i don't think i have the power pack full set should have gone yesterday but was busy working yeah it happens right it happens i'm actually going to go to the comic uh, comic store one of the other comic book store not where my pull list is um the today uh because i someone uh my partner sent me an article uh in your box <laughs> you're, you're saying it's a power pack full set it's not a power pack full set it's something else full set it's uh it, it's uh i'll tell you what it is it's image comics uh, that i ended up picking up but i'll show you what they are i'll show you what they are uh, but i'm going to be going to one of my other comic book stores that i go to that uh uh, the guy, his storage, the comic book owner, uh, the place where he has his comics, that's what the article said. Uh, the store space is being turned into condos, so he had to bring all his comic books boxes to the store, and it's overwhelming him. So he's going to be putting up a whole bunch of 1980s and 90s Batman comics for 25 cents a pop in like i'm i'm assuming they're not bagged or bored or anything it's like a dollar bin but 25 cent bin so i'm going to try to go there today and uh, see what i can find i might just go in there and just say i'll take that box and bring it home and do a do a 25 cent comic book haul live stream or something we'll see we'll see slick mick last uh last comic stream or uh, was able to catch some uh, troll ask if chicho was too old for oh yeah that one <laughs> you are never too old for comics it's like are you too old to read what are you too old to appreciate art what <laughs> like, <laughs> like it had to be a troll right no one no one of a sane mind would even ask such a question i think good morning chicho spider-man how are you doing you're unpacking now yeah you moved yesterday been picking up x-men coffin bound cool 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 batman grave and a lot of uh valiance nice valiant hasn't been shipping that much so i picked up rye yesterday rye came out yesterday um i picked out uh picked up uh what did i pick up uh, thor number six because it's thor's hammer with infinity gems on it <laughs> it's just 
<laughs> just over the top, right? I picked up some other comics as well. Did you get your uh, paper girl? He, he found it. I messaged, uh, by the way, nice old comic. I messaged uh, the seller and he was like, oh, I doubt it if it's here because I wouldn't do that. Like, why would I ship a b bunch of comics without number two being in there? I go, look, dude, it's not here. You know, I don't know how to, you know, I hope it's there because if it's not there, it's not here. <laughs> Where is it? Right. And then he, he went checked and he goes, oh, yeah, it's here. I'm like, dude. And he's sending it to me. So it's on his way uh, to me, uh, which is unfortunate, right? But he did charge me a ridiculous amount for shipping. So, and he included, yeah, he included tracking on this too. So I guess this cost him a little bit. He charged way too much for shipping, like way too much. And Dark Age, nice, nice. Dark Age is Aftershock, isn't it? <clears throat> Always pleased to catch a live stream. Reckner, especially during the beginning of my work day so i can listen in the background also i had a 60 year old english teacher who adored batman and loves greg yeah greg Capa, uh, capula greg capula fantastic art i'm unpacking my life away literally as we speak just did some laundry nice unpacking is fun packing could be interesting as well uh I had not picked up uh, in a while due to COVID-19. So it was behind on my... Oh, you hadn't picked up for a long time. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, uh, Dark Age is a Red 5 comics. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I've seen it. I might have picked up one or two or something like this. I'm not 100% sure. This uh, Dark Age has been around for a while, if I remember correctly. No, no. I smoke some blue <laughs> Deutsche Berry. Anna, you, sm <laughs> you, you smoke a lot, brother. 420 life, all the way. Uh, Dutch Berry last night. It was an amazing, giggly experience. Then we ate ice cream. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Anna, that's funny, man. Jaded mask. Packing to go to college was always so fun thinking about seeing friends again and the sorts yeah and that's something that's changing now right Eileen King Divinity hey Chicho how are you doing Eileen King Divinity welcome to an unscheduled live stream um uh, I mentioned there's a care package here let me show you this is the care package that was sent this came from Portugal okay I'm not going to show you this side because it's got all the mailing infos on it and stuff it's come from Portugal so we're going to do this and here's the box. <clears throat> yeah. Here's the box, right? Okay. We're gonna unpack this baby. And this one went through eBay's global shipping program. I will never ever again go through eBay's global shipping program. I'll tell you about it, okay? Once we get to it. This is Spider Man. I'll post the beautiful plants in my front yard. We'll be starting a potted garden in the backyard. Awesome, awesome, Spider Man. Starsky, how's it going? Yo, how's it going, Chicho? It's going good, man. Picked up a comic book haul yesterday and a care package yesterday, and woohoo! <laughs> I was like, I got to do an unscheduled live stream. I got to show you guys this. Uh, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Love it, love it, love it. How are we doing for time? How long are we moving off? Let's check this out. Up time. We've been going for about 10 minutes. We'll give it a couple of couple of more minutes. Okay. I mentioned to Ripper that uh, we we're going to go live uh, this morning and he said he was going to try to make it i'm not sure if he can or not spot of tea how are you doing hello hello how's everyone i may be dipping in and out um, um a bit because i'm on holiday at the moment but i'll be here as much as possible awesome awesome um spot of tea you'll probably like what we got uh i'm pretty sure i think so <clears throat> He used eBay's global shipping system. I, I had no choice. The guy was selling these books and I put a bid in. I didn't think it was going to go, but it went. I bought it. And then it was going through eBay's global shipping program. So I contacted. Anyway, I'll tell you the story on it. Okay. I caught your rant about everything that was wrong with them. And then you buy from them. Here's the kicker. 
my rant that I gave you was after I had bought this because this box, <laughs> this box <laughs> took a month <laughs> to come to me <laughs> from Arizona like crazy with the rant that you heard slick Mike, was my rant finally getting this book coming on its way and i'm tracking it going it's where now <laughs> it's where now <laughs> i was like why like it's the most craziest thing ever nights of old comic uh did you ever buy comics on the spinner oh for sure for sure for sure the the metal things and you spin it when i was buying comics um there was still the newsprint ones right so if you went to max 7-eleven or some of these places uh or even like different stores had the spinner racks i bought some comics off spinner racks in news just grocery stores uh they were awesome Sometimes when you went to, uh, when if a book was hot, some comic book stores pulled the books off, right? So you couldn't get them. So what you could do is go to the magazine stands and buy them there off the spinner racks. <laughs> Dragons, hey guys, is this an unplanned stream? It's an unplanned stream, unscheduled stream. Spider Man, Spot of T is best mod. Uh, Spot of T has been here. For a long, long time. I very much appreciate him. Chicho, have you read Pulp by Ed uh, Brubaker? Pulp I haven't read. No. I've heard good things. Ed Brubaker, it's like you will not be disappointed picking up an Ed Brubaker book and reading it. It's like a Brian Azzarello. I've never been disappointed reading a Brian Azzarello story. I've never been disappointed reading... Um, Neil Gaiman. Uh, who else? Uh, Grant Morrison, I've been disappointed. Even though Grant Morrison, I think, is one of the best writers in comic books, I've been, at times, disappointed reading Grant Morrison stuff because I know I have to read ten, I have to read ten issues in before I know what the hell's going on in the issue that I'm reading. <laughs> We're all amazing, Spider Man. We're all amazing. You're all amazing. You're all amazing. Nights Wall Comics. Some kids would hide the X Men in the middle of the spinner <laughs> on Magnum. <laughs> kids are kids. The kids are funny. My one comic question Why are omnibus collections so insanely expensive? I think some of them are ridiculously expensive because they have limited print runs and there's more people chasing them than there is supply, right? And some of them are out of print. Uh, some of the omnibuses aren't that expensive. I bought some of the Valiant ones are really expensive because they were the first ones that came out of the low print runs. But some of the other ones I bought, they're really reasonably priced. Like I bought the Divinity uh, omnibus, which had Divinity 1, 2, 3, and the Divinity 3 one shots. And it was cheap, cheap, cheap for what you got. Like phenomenal story and whatnot same with the x uh exo man of war one <clears throat> i know right this spider-man says i can't find any amazing spider-man uh omnibuses for cheap really they're that expensive they're hundreds now no way the first prints of them right or is there any second prints of some there must be second prints of the uh the reissues of the of the omnibuses for spider-man they're into the hundreds now wow the collectible market is just going off the top right i guess a lot of people have libraries so it's a great way to present right like this one check this out this is the conan reader omnibus it's soft cover it's not hard hard cover and this was uh like seriously this is who, who does this have on it this this thing like this stick was $40 Canadian, $30 US. $30 US, that's pretty cheap. The Spider-Man stuff, I could, I, that's weird that they're going for so much. Because I'm assuming there's gotta be, but there's a lot of people collecting Spider-Man, right? 
dragons i was looking at the conan collection they're at least 130 like even if you uh pay current cover price it would be more not a fan of hardcover trays to begin with wow ghost of shadow rat how are you doing nice name sup man <laughs> super excited for the new house we'll be filling up the house with plants and bookshelves definitely not inspired by g show next it's my kind of home. <laughs> just got 12 marvel unlimited graphic novels coming um got them for three bucks each nice i think um chicho i have a question my dad bought me some comic books from his trip and i want to know how valuable they are where would i go to check them go to my comp you can go to uh, the best place would be just go to ebay write down the name of the comic and do a search and see how much is being listed for and you can do an advanced search and see how much the books are being sold for uh, that's one way to do it and there's what do you call it uh here there's you could go to here i'll give you this you can go to my comic shop i don't buy things from them or i haven't yet but i love their website they have a lot of info on it go to my that's a reseller but it has a lot of info on things and then there's um the best would be to know how much they're going for would be ebay okay you could go here too this is another one that i use Conan, yeah, me too, me too. Uh, Slick Mac, fantastic stories. Funny, the first trade you pull up is a soft cover Conan trade. Dark Horse does it the right way. Dark Horse does it the right way. It's too bad they lost the uh, rights to the comics. Again, the care package, let's do later because Ripper's not here. Let's do the comic book haul right now, okay? Just in case Ripper comes in later on, okay? Because it's a care package from Ripper. So we're gonna do the comic book where's my exacto knife i brought it oh there it is nice <laughs> in japan after initial run the trades are super cheap uh available everywhere uh if only yeah dragons uh, like the number of people reading comics in japan is huge right both good websites ebay is the best for solid uh sold listings uh for me personally yeah agreed so go to eBay and then hit advanced search and then click on completed or sold, right? Getting a small collection together for my three-year-old to grow into. Got Infinity Saga, awesome. But anyone got uh, suggestions um, and must have runs or omnibuses. <laughs> Spider-Man would have, for sure. I do as well. Depends when you want to get the get your kid to start reading them if you want to get them reading right away in comics uh, when they're really young bone by jeff smith this guy bone by jeff smith so if you have a kid get them to read this it's gigantic <laughs> right but well worth it what a fantastic read for any age any age one of my favorite epic story arcs and comics okay highly recommend highly recommend did l uh elder say whether or not he would uh, be here i i don't know uh, I just posted it. I didn't uh, contact Elder right off the bat because I don't usually know exactly what time I'm going to go, right? I just told uh, Ripper that most likely I was going to do a cut last night, that I was going to do the stream today, this morning. Uh, look up, uh, gang, let me show you what we got. okay so okay cool <laughs> i 
Fuck it, let me show you these. Let's do this. Let's do this. Should I give you the background on this first? Let me give you the background on this first. Spider-Man, yay for comic stream. I'll be ha uh, happy right now. Okay, unpack. I'm so sad I have to lurk. No worries, lurk away, brother. If you hear something that's really exciting that you want to see, that, uh, what do you call it, uh, that I might have passed through, moved on, just come back and say, hey, Chicho, can you show me that? And I'll show you that, okay? So no worries. So let me show you this. This is a comic book haul that I ended up picking up. Okay, um, where is it? Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Oh yeah, we got that, we got that. So, uh, purchase history. I'm just going to my, uh, my eBay, purchase history. And this is a comic book haul. I'm gonna do view order details, boop. Okay, actually I had that, I had that open here. So, the comics in this box cost $34 US, right? I got a great deal on the comics. The shipping cost $44 US because it was going through eBay's global shipping program. Plus, they charged about $6 import charges duty. So the comic books cost $34 US. The shipping ended up costing $50 US, right? Now, why did I go through eBay's global shipping program? Is because I put bids on a set of comics that were up and I wasn't expecting them to win them that cheap, but I won them that cheap. So I contacted the guy and I said, hey, listen, I'm looking for some, you know, I'm looking some of the other lots. If you can combine shipping, I'll send you an offer on some of the other ones because he had it for buy it now or something. Uh, a couple of them were auction, a couple of them were buy it now. And uh, uh, he said, uh, he said, yeah, sure, I can combine shipping. And he gave me a combined shipping price. And I said, sure, we'll go with that. Like it was like, you know, the eBay's global shipping program for the lot I bought was like $23. So he said, oh, I'll charge you like $30, 30, whatever, $31 or something for everything to be shipped to you, right? And then when I ended up buying all these books, the guy and six dollars import charges right and there was no import charges to begin with so it should have been just shipping right like thirty dollars shipping he said he was going to charge me and then when i bought all these things he kept on trying to make the combined shipping but ebay's global shipping program wouldn't allow him to do it right so after a week he was like okay dude like i can't get ebay's global shipping program to let me combine shipping so I was like, oh man, you know, why don't we cancel these orders then? He goes, okay, how about we do this? And then he tried for a day and he goes, okay, it's becoming more difficult to cancel orders. I'm like, dude. And he goes, okay, why don't you pick another lot that you like on my page and I'll include that as well, as long as it's reasonable. I said, okay. And I gave him two choices and he included uh, another $15 comic books that came my way, right? So long story short it was a shit show Glo ebay's global shipping program and let me tell you where this thing went you want to where you want to know where this thing went here is here is where it came from where it ended up going and how long it took it took a month to come to me the books were from arizona so the guy shipped them out on july 21st okay a month ago from Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. The books went to Los Angeles. So Arizona, I mean, I'm on the west coast of Canada. Keep this in mind. Went from Arizona to Los Angeles, which is reasonable because Los Angeles to west coast of Canada is skip, hop, skip, and a jump away, right? But should have been here within a week, right? Arizona to Los Angeles. And then it went to Ohio. Cincinnati, okay, and then it went to Erlanger, Kentucky. So Arizona, Los Angeles, California, Ohio, Kentucky, okay, and then it went to Ontario, and then it came to me. <laughs> so it went Arizona, California, 
Ohio, can Ohio, Kentucky, Ontario, here. Instead of going from here to here. What a shit show. What a shit show. The guy was really nice guy. Okay, so hopefully the comics are are good. And I'll tell you what they were for. Oh man, that's rough. That is rough. Is there any way I can donate to sponsor a comic book? <laughs> By the way, for sure it's some slick mic. I have a PayPal account. So if you feel like sponsoring a comic book haul, fantastic. I'll put it together. People have been actually doing that, which is great. Uh, but don't feel obligated, man. It is what it is, right? But it was like, why are people using eBay's global shipping product? I don't understand. It's like, it's like having Big Brother uh, monitor everything you do so you don't stumble. You're very weird. Patreon probably. Patreon is good as well, for sure. Did I miss? No, you haven't missed the ground. We're just getting into it. Elfido, hi Chicho. What's up? Greetings from the Netherlands. Greetings, Netherlands. How are you doing? Could he not put them back on a single lot with the ship? He, dude, he, he he tried to contact eBay. eBay wasn't getting back to him. That's what he kept on telling me, right? And then he ended up. I actually bought these books. He shipped them out on July 21st. I bought them like two weeks before that, right? It's it's just. And you'll know what this is, this series, because we did a CGC comic book haul of it. I bought the CGC comic book after I had bought these, but that comic book came that I showed you guys on a previous haul. I was actually going to bring it down and show it to you guys. Check this out. A nice packaging, right? Nice, nice. Now, this is the lot that I really wanted to get, right? Cyberpunk, how are you doing? How are you doing? Well, legendary raw boss, I don't understand why that distribution is economically viable for them because the buyer is flipping the bill for it, right? Wouldn't that cost more? It does, but the shippers are not taking on the cost. We, the buyers are taking on the cost. So people who are selling the books are getting less people from outside the United States bidding on the books, right? Me being one of them. Wow, one of my comics is worth $12 and my dad paid $1 for it. Nice, eye linking divinity. Because it doesn't sound very, it doesn't sound very efficient. Check this out. This is, let me bring up the description for this. This should have more than this on it, but we'll see. This is, let me put the first print on it. Jupiter's legacy. Okay, let me make sure I got uh, this thing showing up. Okay, Jupiter's legacy. And in a previous haul, you must, have, if you've seen it, we got Jupiter's legacy CGC graded or CB, CBD, whatever graded at 9.8 for like $25 US with shipping. It was like $40 US, right? This is Jupiter's legacy number one with Mark Miller and Frank quietly and frank quietly's uh, quietly's artwork is absolutely amazing and mark miller is pretty big he does a lot of stuff that's um gets picked up optioned to get either movies or tv series and this has been optioned and for what we understand from what river said the shooting for this series is done right i believe it's a netflix series or an amazon series so this is jupiter's legacy number one and the listing was Jupiter's leg. It's got the giant size as well. So giant size, I believe this is the print uh, reprint of Jupiter's legacy number one, two, and three. Okay. So it had this plus it's got Jupiter's legacy one cover A, B, C, D, and the studio Jupiter's legacy two cover A, B, C, Jupiter's legacy three, A, 4 a and b 5 a b c so how many comic books total it should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16. so jupiter's legacy 16 issues and we ended up paying without the shipping it was 1750 okay 1750 
slick mick thank you very much for the tier one sub appreciate it thank you Boop. we got an emote what's this guy hyper slam <laughs> nice <laughs> so this is uh jupiter's legacy the what do you call it the special edition i believe it's a print run of uh let me put these guys here of number one and two okay here's one a let me do it this way one a i haven't read this by the way but it is becoming a series just subbed you're the best man awesome slick mate. here's one uh which one is this this is number one two i don't know which which version this is probably one b We got this one slapped at 9.8. This is one again. Okay. Pretty cool cover, actually. I like this one. Very styling. Very styling. Here's number one variant cover again, right? number one second printing okay no i don't think mark miller's frank miller's brother i i haven't looked into it but uh, I, I i doubt it very much internet's playing a bit awesome covers on them and the story is supposed to be good is it different smelling Oh yeah, this is Miller. Check this out. A R and Miller is E R. So yeah, definitely not brothers. And this is the sketch variant. Okay. Very cool. So that's number one again. Here's number two. And they're all supposed to be near mint. Okay. Here's the variant of number two. Cool. let's crack it open here's the other one the package very nicely like the guy was really nice really he, he was he was a really nice seller it's just ebay's global shipping program like 50 dollars for shipping us for a 34 dollar comic book haul is ridiculous why is why is the money going to ebay why is ebay collecting even more from the hall but happy to have these by the way and the and the lot that he compensated for i'll show you what that is Let me put these in order. Oh, this is okay. Hold on, I gotta put these in order so you see what else is it. This is the other thing. Uh, two, two. Okay, hold on. Let me put this guy down here. You know, I gotta crack open a different one because I want to show you the the runs together right oh man i hope they're here here's another one i'm gonna crack open okay guys there so let me show you this cool there we go 
Okay, so we looked at uh, this one, which was Jupiter's legacy number two. That was the last one, right? And then here's Jupiter's legacy number two, variant cover. Nice. Here's Jupiter's legacy number three. And I believe we only have one variant of number three. And Mark Miller, he's really working closely with uh, studios to bring his creations to light, right? So here's Jupiter's Legacy number four. So some of these books, uh, if the series do well, they will most likely kick up in price. Okay, number four. Here's a variant, Jupiter's Legacy number four here's jupiter's legacy number five and it's a five issue mini series okay the first series that came out this is a cool cover jupiter's legacy number five variant Check that out. The artwork is uh, Frank Quietly. He did All Star Superman and a lot of other comics. He did uh, uh, what else? Uh, oh, he's he's done so many. He's a very good artist. Very good artist. Very good artist. Jupiter's Legacy number five variant. Okay. So this should be. I forgot how many count there was. So let's count this for that first lot. One, two, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so i think there should have been 16 books total let me just check it so 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 books so all the books are there and these were 1750 okay this lot not including shipping right now he had jupiter's legacy one right the first mini and after i asked him if you know if you could do combined shipping he said sure and i wanted to get the jupiter's legacy i've heard good things about it right i haven't read it i don't know uh, for sure it's about superheroes right but I don't know if it's like uh, 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 what do you call it, the boys. I don't know if it's like some of the other. It's a alternative superhero comic book series, right? From Mark Miller, so it's probably more mature and whatnot. So, and I knew it was going. It was optioned. I didn't realize uh, when I ordered this. I didn't realize it would had already been filming had already done for. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so I wanted to get it in my collection. And he had Jupiter's Legacy 2 with variants in there as well, right? So this is the second series, second mini that they put out and ended up buying this one. And I asked him if we could do combined shipping. He said yes, so I, I zapped it, right? And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books in this, and we ended up paying eleven sixty seven US. So we bought them for you know about a dollar a pop right which was a good deal uh it would have come out to like you know add another 50 cents a pop so buck 50 a pop for near mint comics jupiter's legacy number two yeah. and frank quietly is his artwork is beautiful right here's number two again uh, sorry number one so jupiter's legacy two 
issue number one variant cover and some of these uh, covers there you can buy lots at fairly reasonable price this was the cheapest that I could get my hands on here's number one again variant cover beautiful cover look at that sorry about the glare gang very nice cover really you gotta love comic books absolutely beautiful here's the a blank sketch variant and from what I understand if you buy blank cover sketch variants uh, for any of uh, of your comics from what I understand if you take those blank variants to comic shows the artists that are working on it they're supposed to draw a sketch or sign it uh, for free or they will I don't know if it was supposed to be for free or not but I haven't done it great covers kind of bothers me when prices shoot up when a comic is option feels like it, it cheapens the medium and everyone seems too willing to bend over backwards for movies TVs uh, to dragons I to a certain degree I agree with you to a certain degree it's an human artifact that is about to be go into the public light and if it becomes a part of our society it's a big deal right they look super good they look super good right and the collector market is something that drives the comic book medium right now right right now a lot of people that are buying comic books and for a while now they've been collectors right i wish it wasn't like that i wish general public was buying a lot of comic books this is number two variant cover this cover beautiful i don't know for some reason i love frank quietly's like the way he draws people it's detailed this is issue number three right look at that it's just there's something about it there's meaning in their faces right their postures they're not over the top right muscle bound exploding they it feels i don't know what it is it's just beautiful right here's a variant of issue number three Here's issue number four. Like, look at the posture on that. Yeah. This one's heavy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the art inside is like. It's like this, the art inside. We can crack one of these open if you want. Should we crack one open? Take a look. Here's issue number five, Jupiter's Legacy. Do you roughly know what the series is about? I, I don't. I know it's a superhero series, and I believe it's, you know, working with the government just based on the covers with the American flag in the background and not, right? But I don't know. Here, let's crack this one open. I'll show you what the inside looks like. And it's cool. He's using the bags that already have the tape on them. They're actually not bad. I don't buy these bags, but they're pretty good. And they're supposed to be near mint condition and they look fantastic. Like there's no ripples on them or anything, right? So it's a great, uh, if you didn't include the shipping, it's a great buy, right? Here's a back cover. The writer of Kick-Ass and the artists of all-star superman joined forces to create the greatest superhero epic of this generation right can the supervillains save us 
The superheroes have taken over the world. Can the supervillains save us? So that pretty much tells us. Right. Here. This is a good panel to show. This is the inside. Right. Take a look. So this is number two, by the way, right? Get it to focus. So pretty good, pretty nice artwork. Beautiful artwork. Here, I'll show, here's the one with the back cover. Right. So this is Jupiter's legacy number two, and it's the same team, same people working on it, right? Should be anyway. I think for Jupiter's legacy number two, there was another artist that worked on it too. Let me, here, let me just bring up the page because I highlighted it. Uh, Jupiter's legacy. So Jupiter's legacy number one, it's, uh, Frank quietly, uh, covered by Frank quietly, Mark, art by Mark M Miller and art by Frank quietly. Okay, so all of all of Jupiter's Legacy number one should be that, and it is. I'm just scrolling Speedy Gonzalez style. Yeah. Uh, ba, da, 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 da. Uh, it's a couple of the covers were done in uh, Jupiter's Legacy by uh, Duncan Frego. This cover that I really liked was done by uh, cover by Brian Hitch. This one, right? So there's uh, different artists, some of them being featured doing the covers. This one I really like, Brian Hitch. I'm not familiar with that name, but the inside artwork is uh, Frank Quietly. Okay. Are those very yeah there's some of the variants right so it includes a lot of variants which is fantastic right which is fantastic and then jupiter's legacy number two da, 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 volume two frank Qu uh, quietly's work is uh, the cover is uh, oh check that out cover one of them cover my Matthew, yeah, the variant covers are done by different people. Cover by Mike, me, Matthew, uh, Jay Lee. Oh, did we have Jay Lee cover? Check this out. Yeah, this one's Jay Lee. Nice. So, for example, here, let me show you this. So, this is Jupiter's Legacy number one, right? This cover is done by frank um by uh, frank quietly right this cover is done by jay lee and jay lee is fantastic right this this cover is jay lee and this cover is uh, mike mayhew which is a beautiful cover. I confuse this one with Frank quietly, but if you can see the faces, they don't have the wrinkly look of Frank quietly's uh, faces. So this reminds me sort of Alex Ross type of cover, right? I'm not familiar with Mike Mayhew's uh, artwork, his name nice love jay lee work jay lee he's he's one of the old school artists from the 1990s early 1990s that's uh, really held his own right i want to check it out now just because of that one sentence on the back yeah spot of tea it, it, it's it, it's it sounds cool it looks cool marvel is guilty of some serious bait and switch 
uh, between cover into yeah dragons agreed that's why i i really love independence man uh, the big two they abuse in large part they abuse a lot of their fans i don't like it right uncharted ace do you think the comic industry is going a bit too far with the amount of variant covers and do you think it can harm the value of com uh, uncharted ace yes 100 percent. and i believe i stated this way way back a few years ago when we started doing comic book uh, videos i think it's over the top personally because there's a cer certain amount of money dollar value that is available for comic books and if people are buying putting all that money into one thing which could be okay if they're independents but if they're giving it all to disney then independents will suffer right uh, and it's gone a little bit too far people are chasing covers that you know they're paying hundreds of dollars for and then a few years from now or shortly from now they're not going to be worth that much on the flip side there's certain covers that are like five ten fifteen dollars that all of a sudden just go up into hundreds so if you want to be an active trader in the industry you can be i guess and there are people that make their money this way which is still a legitimate thing to do it's like any market but i think it there's a bubble right and i realize that that's why i try to lowball things and get good deals and stuff like this because if I'm playing this game for the long haul, I can't be buying a lot of books when during bubble times. I have to maximize my purchasing power, right? That's why a lot of comic book hauls that we did, I used to bring out the spreadsheet, make the spreadsheet, and I go cost per unit, right? Cost per comic. How much did it cost me per comic? Distribute out the cost, right? To me, Marvel and DC are really taking the uh, biscuit with it. Yeah, it's over the top vc how are you doing now a couple other some of the other comics that i bought off this guy okay because he initially said he could combine shipping and i was like woohoo right on let's combine shipping all right awesome one of them i bought these ones for a dollar and he said it was going to cost a dollar to ship right pluton plutono by jeff lemire lemmy lennox and jo jordi belair right now i have this set okay it's a mini i believe it's a mini and i have these but he had it up and he said he could combine shipping so i grabbed them for either two dollars or a dollar which was a which is a reasonable price you can get this on for that price like you can buy it off my comic shop or anywhere for like a dollar like it's not an investment thing i just want an extra copy just in case you know i read it if i like it if it's going to be something that i could pass on to someone to read uh fantastic all right do i ever do reading sessions <laughs> yeah. we've got a lot of comic book readings i've done I, we have a whole comic book reading playlist on my ebay page uh, playlist uh, not ebay uh youtube if you go to youtube i have a playlist of comic book readings like my comic book readings are they get a fair bit of views uh the older one like we've done a few of them that's uh some of the stuff i decided to do right from the get-go when i started making comic book videos cole mc and we've done live stream comic book readings a lot we've done a couple every month for the last few months uh love me some jeff lemire yeah one of the greatest writers around one of my favorite writers today 100 percent getting falls is fantastic and has unbelievable art i have never seen before i recommend yeah i read the first issue of getting falls i love i really liked it right uh, i might have a couple kicking around hi everyone hope you're doing fine crazy bro athens how are you doing are you picking up the firepower yeah i am picking up firepower no i haven't done the reading of the boys and the boys series is fantastic do you like do you like i haven't read the comics the boys comics is, if you've seen the series is it true to the comic books here's a couple other books that i bought doing fine athens says here's a couple other comic books that i bought and again these were 
uh, but um, so I paid two dollars for Plutana, okay, and I paid a dollar each, uh, two sorry, dollar for Pretty Deadly. Check this out a dollar for Pretty Deadly, and this is a nice book. And I recently checked this out and I bought the one dollar bureaucracy kills how are you doing i did i bought the one dollar uh more uh image reprint and i just read this like a couple of weeks ago right or a week ago and i bought this series when it first came out i got the first two or three three or four issues but this was a dollar and he said he could combine shipping so i grabbed another copy of number one okay have you ever read any will eisner yes we have love his stuff yeah vc we read the Oh, I don't have the thing here. Um, oh, I keep, oh. Uh, yeah, we read some of this. Check this out. Let me put this down. We read some, some of a life force. Phenomenal gang. If you've never read Will Eisner and looked at his artwork, please do so he did the spirit as well i don't have any of his original spirit comics but this is a uh, second of a trilogy i believe that he put out and he's sort of one of the uh, originators of the graphic novel long story format uh, of comic book storytelling right phenomenal gang phenomenal so beautiful so beautiful look at that right the shadow work the sh like just let me find you like when you just look at this you're just like blown away by his brilliance right uh, I'm trying to find the page that we did read. Oh, I can't find the page that we read. Oh yeah, this. We read this. Oh, so good. So good. Oh my God, so good. We read this from a life force chapter six and we read this and it's about a sort of a schizophrenic person with uh, that is uh, like is going into his own world and stuff right like so we've done a reading of this will eisner is absolutely magnificent highly recommend reading i'll put this back later okay so picked up deadly class for a dollar right why not they teach all see death death 420 how are you doing cannabis death 420 that's what it must be i made the stream bureaucracy kills and i bought low for two dollars oops low number one i got it upside down low number one first print for two dollars which is a great deal great deal and this series is fantastic okay i've read the first volume of it great workshop will eisner and and a new um and new kind of science just two shelves apart right indeed indeed so this is i picked this up for two dollars fantastic it's a i didn't have low number one right uh but i did read the image reprint of it right i just bought this just read issue number one again and i do have And I read the first volume of Low, and I haven't read read past this. Fantastic, beautiful, beautiful, really like fantastic series, right? Fantastic series. Okay. Reminder, and who does the artwork? Tuccini, Reminder and Tuccini, right? Can you show a page? Yeah, sure. Let me show you. Here. Right. Let me 
I'll show you. Oops, sorry about that. I hit the mic. I hope it didn't. It wasn't too loud. Let me show you some pages from issue number one, just from the $1 reprint, right? Pretty good. These days, if I buy singles, it has to be something with totally new ideas and different from everything else. Dragons, I agree, and image is great. I was about to say that image is great for that. Aftershock is great for that. Um, Valiant is is good for that, but I'm way behind my Valiant reads, so I can't attest to them right now. Okay. Now I bought all of those comics, right? It came out to thirty-four dollars US, and the shipping and duty was going to be fifty dollars us so i contacted the guy i said listen uh, you mentioned that you could combine shipping could you please combine shipping and why is ebay global shipping program charging me duty when there was no duty that should have been charged right they charge 17 percent duty so 34 on 34 dollars they were charging six dollars in duty which is 17 percent in duty on $34 buy which is insane okay Roy's Roy's our boy 1996 thank you very much for the twitch prime sub and so they were charging 17% when when I bought them eBay's global shipping program had no duty on the charges right and then $44 for the shipping so he the guy tried to fix it and he couldn't fix it and stuff like this he goes look I can't do it I said okay and he and he, and he made the offer he said listen is there anything else that I'm selling that you want to get your hands on uh, that you know we could include right I said uh, sure uh, I looked at his stuff and I went yeah okay sure I found something that I want to get and uh, if you can include that then that'll compensate for the shipping right and he decided he he accepted and it was a 15 dollar uh, lot that he had on his on his page and and he's um and he told me as long as there was no bids on them because i think these ones were some of these were buy it now some of them were you know auction and this was a auction one but there was no bids on it so and he had a minimum of 15 dollars on it right so i said sure you know if you can include that then that'll be 15 dollars. so what i would be ending up paying instead of 50 i was paying 35 dollars in shipping right which is a little bit more than what he quoted me on but we were getting this set as well ripper still i know ripper's still not here so we'll have to we'll crack it open though uh, because he will watch the video later on now this is another image set okay it's almost a full run it's issue number one to 18. oh he included 19 too nice initially it was issue number one to 18 and i looked online and no, there was a number 19 so i had to track down 19 but 19 is in there too awesome 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 check this out now this is let me tell you who it is think ding, 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 ding. where are we where are we where are we think think let me do this let me do this the artist for this or the writer for this is jay fairber and art and cover by scott godlowski and ray riley now i don't know these people okay however i've already read the first issue of this on a either image reprint or i bought it as a number one and i really liked it copperhead you can get this on the cheap okay so as right now as of right now this isn't an investment thing this is a fantastic comic book to read thing 
<laughs> which is always a good thing to have. I read issue number one of this and I really liked it. I believe I read it when it first came out, right? And I might probably picked up issue number two and three, but I didn't follow it. I didn't add it to my pull list, so I don't have the set. Okay, but very happy to have it. It's sort of a space western. Okay, if you like uh, Firefly TV series, uh, and if you like space westerns, uh, just from issue number one, this was really good. Okay, so that's number one. Here's number two. right you know what i don't even think i have issue number two the cover doesn't ring a bell but number one i've read and i have and it's really about a single mother with a kid that goes to an off-world colony to be the chief police chief right and a little basically the sheriff in a small town on another planet on a mining mining colony Issue number three. Issue number four. This is the sheriff's partner. Should be anyway. Issue number five. Do you any number one comics like Spider-Man or Hulk? Something like that. I have uh, Daredevil number one that we've done a reading for. Not Spider-Man number one. I almost, I put out a video uh, telling a story about how I tried to get enough money to buy Amazing Spider-Man number one and I couldn't get it. I was in university. I could have bought it for $1,400, I believe. And I didn't have the money as a student, but I tried to borrow it and no one would lend me money to buy a comic book. <laughs> that would have been one of the best investments ever. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number one for $1,400. What's it going for now? Like 50000 Here's number seven, right? Try to explain to people that don't appreciate collectibles what it means to invest in collectibles. Ripper, how you doing? Wow, I just got an alert that you were live. Oh, Ripper, we've been going, finishing off the comic book haul, and we haven't opened up the care package yet. And obviously, you're well into it, Sai. Hope it's been a good stream so far, comics. Yeah, it's been uh, super good so far, Ripper. And we held off on opening it up uh, for the end. I was initially I was going to open up at the beginning the care package. Uh, do do a check for Amazing Spider-Man number one. Let's say the grade that I saw it at, it would have been like a nine, the one that was uh, selling for fourteen hundred dollars. So see what Amazing Spider-Man number one goes for, at graded at nine point zero. Copperhead. This is number nine. Eighty four U.S. Diet thug. Namaste, namaste, friends hello hello greetings this is number 10 so bureaucracy kills amazing spider-man number one graded at nine is 85 dollars now i don't I, I don't let family forget that i hit him up in the early 1990s late 1980s early 1990s to borrow 1400 dollars from them to buy amazing spider-man number one and they wouldn't give it to me and I remind them every few years. Do you remember? Damn. Well, thank you. That's awesome. I'm I'm just bummed at this alert system sometimes. I'm here now. Awesome Ripper. Oh, I'm sorry the alerts didn't go out. Yeah. But if you had it today, would you sell it for that? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Right? Unless I really needed the money. Twelve so it's just paper gain right bureaucracy kills predicted last sold was sixty six thousand at heritage so you would have a, you have you have to ask some 
<laughs> some hefty fees to that price yeah probably a third of it right how many copies are there on uh of amazing spider-man number one i don't know i don't know but i can tell you that in an interview stanley gave he mentioned that he doesn't even have copies or he didn't even have copies of amazing fantasy number 15 the first appearance spider-man right because no one thought that these comics would be so valuable i had the same problem with the uh storm comics found the guy selling them so cheap and my relative didn't want to borrow to yeah crazy bro athens it's just the way it is Roe is our boy 1996 hi chicho uh it's cron crom from the discord hi crom how are you doing is it crom or cron i always said cron for some reason crom how are you doing welcome to our comic book live stream this is a cool cover lightning if chicho sold it right now it would be 100 percent get lost in shipping it with around four grand bureaucracy kills four grand in fees so yeah it would be around 50 grand you would pocket right issue number 15 oh that was a few oh yeah he included two copies of issue number 15 the variant cover too who's the variant cover of this one this artwork so familiar look at that it's crom and a well crom is a fire emblem character ah okay there's four thousand graded amazing spider-man number ones that's the graded so there's got to be a few others what what is copperhead about i've never uh, heard of a ripper it's a really good series it was i swear this is jeff smith who did the artwork for this scotty after at lord scotty young is this okay i gotta look this up gang so this is copperhead number 15. this uh ripper this series i've read issue number one and it's um it's basically a sci-fi western okay it's a sci-fi rest western um sort of on the along the same lines as uh, a firefly it's about a single mother that goes to an off-world colony uh, small town to be the sheriff issue number one was fantastic i really liked it this cover is done by scott good godlewski and ron riley beautiful artwork beautiful cover walking dead variant so perhaps whoever drew that oh looks cool very cool cover here's number 16. I was very ha I'm very happy to get this by the way uh, if I like a comic book series reading I, I it's always good to have a run right number 17 and you can get this again you can get this really cheap really cheap like the cover price for these were four dollars and you can you know you can pick up a lot of 1 to 18 for 15 dollars less than a dollar a pop right this definitely looks like a walking dead cover and here's number 19. and what i found uh, on the description of this this is supposed to be a new arc so i think copperhead is continuing series it must be it's up to 19. and it's a new story arc opening up with this so a nice haul considering how much the shipping was uh, which is unfortunate uh, so i won't be buying uh, ebay's global shipping program ever again unless it's in a crazy amazing deal right ripper sounds like a great read firefly is fantastic and sci-fi western is such a cool concept yeah agreed uh, did you get out uh how much you paid and all that info yeah i ended up this whole lot ended up getting 
seventeen eleven. So thirty. Uh, it was about thirty three books, right? That cost of the buying of the books was thirty four dollars U.S. Now I bought one lot with Jupiter's legacy number one for seventeen fifty. It was like sixteen books, and um, you know I contacted the guy to ask about shipping and stuff. He said he would combine shipping. But then when I bought all these books, eBay wouldn't allow him to do the combined shipping. So eBay charged $44 in shipping plus $6 in duties to come to Canada. So $50 in shipping fees and duty and $34 for comic books. So we went back and forward a little bit and the guy said, you know, is, you know, if you could compensate by throwing another lot and he threw in Copperhead lot these 19 comics and i was okay with that i still paid more than i wanted to for shipping but whatever we tried to work it out and it was great and i'm going to leave the guy you know top-notch feedback on it right because it wasn't it was out of his hands it's ebay that was messing things up right diet thug uh do the color tones on the covers uh depict the overall feel of the issues for copperhead i know it's a stretch I just noticed that red goes with pictures of struggle here and blue seems to be more mellow uh possibly like issue number one issue number one here's issue number one so i've read this and does that depict the mood of the comic yeah because it's sort of like a desert world it's it's desolate um and there is uh, you know, I don't want to give spoilers. So there are certain events that occur with, you know, it's a Western. So there is some bloodshed. Okay. Uh, does this give the feel of the the first uh, that I read? Yeah, pretty much. It has a good feel for it. I haven't read the rest of it. Uh, as far as low as far as logos yeah very much the artwork is very fluid and this is an underworld uh, underwater world that they're in so low is phenomenal series phenomenal series like it it has that fluidity of the story as well in the artwork uh, so highly recommend low as well rick reminder is fantastic uh right mm, i like that yeah it's super cool that's the comic book hall gang should we do let me do up time how are we doing for time Boop. hour and 18 minutes let's do a care package by ripper all the way from portugal and the first version of this package went from portugal to france and drove around europe for a bit and then went back to portugal because it couldn't find its way to canada and then it finally came to canada and ripper knows what that's about <laughs> okay so ripper thanks for the care package brother ripper already sent the care package and i'm very close ripper and sending that book to be graded i'm not i gotta look into the cbgc one because they have a canada thing on it I'm, I'll, I'll see i'll see um it's just i'd rather have fun buy books than grade books right but because once i get into it it might be a little bit uh of what do you call it uh too uh too addictive to get things graded right let's crack this open by the way my post office because uh are in canada we have this thing where you can get a sort of a, a virtual po box for parcels so you don't have to pay anything you just go open up an account where parcels boxes can be sent there and they'll hold it for you for you to pick up but it only accepts parcels since this was a, like an envelope thing uh, it wasn't a parcel they accepted it because they know me and then they said just tell them not to send envelopes because they can't accept envelopes like this so ripper almost didn't make it to me right a ripper that sucks about the shipping i've noticed uh 
from my eBay store that eBay pushes the global shipping program and is really cheap on my end, but I don't uh, use it based on all your uh, videos. Instead, I charge a flat fee to Canada, which isn't cheap, but better than the global awesome ripper. And are you getting people uh, to, uh, are, are you getting Canadian buyers buying from you? Yes, this is the three months in the making. <laughs> this is three months in the making thing. I'll check this out. Okay, let's pull this up. Okay. Let's check this out. <laughs> I'll show you this little thing at a time. Hold on. We're going to do this. Hold on a second. Yeah, Ripper, post your... Uh, Wow, almost didn't make make it again. Good to know though. Yeah, almost didn't make it again. Yeah, awesome, Ripper. Did you post it? Uh, Ripper, uh, Shroom uh, Tripper, comic books. Zach the Ripper comics. Doop. Hold on, let's do this. Uh, Ripper, I got. Uh, Oh, I don't have my, e uh, what do you call it, open. Um, pooper scooper. I can post a link to your page. Let me do this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see if I can find that Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, you know what? I, I'll do it this way. Uh, it's just going to take me one minute, gang. Because Ripper's got some nice books on sale. So I'm going to close these guys up so we don't slow down the computer. Boop, boop. And let's see, let's see, let's see. There it is. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, these are Ripper's books. <laughs> his logo is awesome. This is his website. Okay, gang. Uh, let me post it. Paste. Okay, that's his uh, Ripper's eBay page. Okay. I'll be adding 50 books in the next few days. Nice. So that's uh, Ripper's uh selling books okay so here's some stuff that's in here there's a letter here too <laughs> transfer to deliver here's the here's the thing where the the thing didn't make it because the shipper I'm, i won't show you this part of it the shipper um what do you call it it went to france it didn't make it uh what do you call it it didn't have canada on it so they didn't know where it was supposed to go so it went to france and then went back to portugal and they resent it right uh, check this out what's this what's this okay let me read the letter first hi hi chicho your friend zach connor thought i uh, you'd enjoy this comic i've made about julie what get the fuck out Oh, dude, you're shitting me. <laughs> We're going to do a reading of this. What? Thank you so much, that much. No worries, man. I thought I won't go, go into detail here on this stream, but I want you to know I made an effort on it. Oh, yeah, I thought just finished work. Elder God, how are you doing? Check this out. Check this out, Elder God. This is a care package from Ripper, right? What the hell? check this out so here's the letter right uh, hi chicho your friend zach thought you'd enjoy this comic i've made about julian assange at the ecuadorian embassy what the f check this out <laughs> that's so julian i'm julian i'm julian look at this what is this uh, at the Ecuadorian embassy, I hope you enjoy it, especially since you have a chat of all Julian. You might be the only reader so far that will get all the little gags. So that's cool for me. 
I also threw in a few rats for good measure. And this is uh, nothing rhythm rats. Uh, Ripper, remember I, ha uh, I had said it was about a topic you've been talking about, Julian Assange, and you thought it was a uh, pomegranate. <laughs> That's right. What? Brad Pitt's, uh, Pitt's pick. Is it Brad Pitt's pick? No. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, written July 31st over one month. Oh, yeah. So check this out. Um, oh, so that your friend Zach Connor enjoy this comic of me. So who's this person? Uh, signature at the bottom. Aggie Ripper. So is that the artist? Written July 31st over the over one month since ps so this package has actually gone through a journey it mistakenly got sent to france and it made its way back to me in portugal now i'm sending it out to you again it just needs a little encouragement i guess laugh out loud hope it finds you well i'm also including a bit of the old envelope uh perhaps you'll get a kick out of reading this have a great day thank you so ripper is this uh i the is is this the artist i can't read that Aggie, check this out oh yeah brand it's <laughs> dick I didn't even see that. What the hell? Check this out. Okay, we gotta crack this open. And there's this thing here too. Check it out. Uh, let me show you this thing first. Nothing rhymes with rats. Nothing rhymes with rats. <sighs> what is this? So check this out. Let me read this. Nothing rhymes with rats. Time certainly keeps going by. Yes, it does. Dwindling away. There goes some more and more and more. Dwindle, dwindle, little star. I wonder who you are. Wasted down to the wire. Squandered life in toil and mire. Dwindle, dwindle, little star. It was a dear little violet. Check this out. So that's a little little poster thing. Oops, let me fold this properly. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the Julian Assange poster. Our comic. Julian Assange comic, dude. Awesome. What? What is this? Dude, dude, dude. What is this bad <laughs> Leftover mac and cheese date. What? Brad Pitt's dick. <laughs> I can't bring this one too close. I'll bring this one close. Just in case the sensors don't like it. Too funny. Too funny. Let's check this out. This is awesome, dude. We're going to do a reading of this. We're going to check this out, man. Right. <laughs> Dragons. <laughs> Cat, bad, beautiful thing. <laughs> Who drew this comic? I don't know. I'm Julian. I'm Julian. I'm Julian. So who is this guy again? He's never mind. I have to stop. Uh, procrastinating <laughs> check this out oops so here's the first page okay what does Riffer say uh, this is very cool i didn't know he was going to do a personalized letter and such but he was excited about you reading it and said uh to link your video to him okay okay what 
does this say? I'm going to read the first page, just the text on it. It's a Fight Club reference. Hi, I'm Taylor Dur Durden. On Sunday in London at the Ecuadorian embassy. Ah, come on, you guys, give me a break. <laughs> it's Julian. Come on, you guys, give me a break. What's the Wi-Fi password? Right? Let's check this out. Hold on, is, I gotta read this. What's the Wi-Fi password? You know, El Wi-Fi O password O. Sorry, El Pas Ecuadoro. Hola, this isn't fair, you guys. And I'm assuming these are the security people that were bought off by the CIA to spy on Assange or prevent them from uh, getting access to the internet and they were monitoring him and stuff, right? Oh, YouTube's not gonna like us reading a Julian Assange comic, are they? <laughs> okay, well, you tell me if I guess it. Is it Chimichanga 1, Chimichanga 2? No, Cri. No, no creo que esta. Huevos sab espanol. Chimichangas are Mexican, Julian. <laughs> Don't you think I know that? I'll never let on the depths of my knowledge. So let's see. What's uh, quintessentially Ecuadorian? Maybe it's sangria on, <laughs> on the score. Pedros, <laughs> so he found the password, <laughs> and they're chasing him down. <laughs> Bit shoot exclusive? No, Elder God. We do a Julian Assange comic book reading. It's going on YouTube. The no way we're gonna censor ourselves regarding Julian Assange reading of comic book. Absolutely not. If they decide to kill the channel, so be it, man. <laughs> Chicho, Andrew Goitan is whom is from. He wrote and drew it. He wrote and drew it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Excellent. Bichu de Suno. AndrewGoitan.com in case um, any viewers would like to purchase a copy. Cool. Uh, let me grab that. Hold on. I'm going to link it up in the chat, gang. Ch -ch -ch. This is historical so far. Historical. My God. I'm going to find this thing. I'm going to link it up for you guys. Doop. Angela. Uh, I gotta make sure I got the right. This has got to be it. Zero down. Yeah, he's got it right there. Sweet, sweet. I'm gonna pin this. Doink, doink, doink. Check this out. Okay, that's uh, that's his website or her website. Okay. Fantastic. We read and see what it's all about. Okay. Ripper, thank you very much. Brother, awesome. Uh, Angel, uh, what's her name? Uh, Angela, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great. Is he? <laughs> Never mind all that. I hope it puts uh, Julian or what he's sharing in in a good light. Of course, he's a he's a male. Okay, Angelo, thank you very much. It's okay, Hector. You can let him go. All right, calm down, Julian. I'm not unreasonable. I'm willing to work with you. 
and this is the guy in the wheelchair is the president of uh, Ecuador the guy who sold out Julian for four billion dollars right you're welcome my friend I knew as soon as I saw this it had to go to you also only a man could be so uh, sarcastic <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I've known some women that could be seriously sarcastic go awesome awesome ripper we do this is going to be one of the books uh, we put in our uh, list or we're we just going to do a reading of it I think I don't think we're going to put it in our list we're just going to go straight out and read it <laughs> awesome 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 and Brad Pitt's dick <laughs> too funny too funny gang too funny uh, so I figured uh, this little comic book haul was going to be uh, fun to do. I'm glad uh, I'm glad we did it, and I'm glad we ended with this Ripper. Uh, I'm glad you made it, gave us the background story on it. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Uh, gang, thanks for being here, as always. I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream. Uh, Ripper, thank you again. Uh, mods, Elder God. Uh, spot of tea was here uh, spider-man is lurking away uh, so thank you for being here gang uh, thanks for taking care of business thank you for the subs thank you for the follows of course always thank you for the conversations ripper he allows you to download a free digital copy off the website too oh fantastic hey hey morning chicho with your positivity lark bark how are you doing rippers for mod ripper for mod Ripper for mod. I second. I thought Ripper was a mod. Prime Gaming. You're welcome, my friend. Your work is very much appreciated. Uh, my, my pleasure, Ripper. Elder God. Ripper mod? I, for some reason, I thought Ripper was a mod already. But I, maybe he was just a mod on... Ripper, are you okay with being mod status? That way you can post the links yourself because I had to grab them? Uh elder god second do it do it ripper you got to give the okays if you're okay it, it, it is responsibility personally i don't want to really be a mod anywhere i am on action for assange but their traffic is very little hopefully we'll kick that up uh but there's a, like for me i i watch their streams when i can i don't make it a plan to be there and i don't expect any mods to do it for my channel either right so shucks oh shucks is good to go <laughs> i'm building anticipation here okay let's do it mod mod the ripper cz lavala yes i will do it thank you sir did it work chicho granted mod privileges to ripper the ripper c z c Zach Connor, the Ripper Zach Connor. And he's got a great little comic book logo thingamajig on his uh, eBay page. Okay, gang, aside from that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll, uh, I'm going to go sort these guys out. Uh, Julian Sanj is going to make it to our reading list. <laughs> <laughs> Wingman forever, Elder <laughs> God said. Uh, and I'm going to later on today i'm going to try to get to the comic book store and see if i can pick up some 25 cent batmans and maybe we'll do uh maybe i can pick up a box and just bring it over and say okay here's a box of batman 25 cents that i ended up buying we'll see top fiver how are you doing welcome to the crew top fiver says welcome welcome ripper and i think you're a mod on um discord i'm not sure if you're not uh we'll definitely grant you mod status there as well and that way you know what's going on in the background the mod folder and whatnot gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share a like 
those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support really really greatly appreciated gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat as they're happening twitch is where you want to be at great video would be your visit to and in the local comic shop yeah it would be but i need to get uh uh data streaming thing and i heard it costs a lot so uh maybe someday we do hang in there everybody hang in there everybody love this channel eagles and cycling how are you doing thank you for the love i do announce these live streams 30 minutes for scheduled streams before we go live and the unscheduled uh, streams like this one a few minutes before we go live on lo vk minds gap parlor and twitter so you can follow us on those platforms the link are in the chat and will be in the description of this video okay a lot of the streams where we happen open discussions without any visuals uh, we do record on a lapel mic and upload them to soundcloud as podcasts and they will be available on soundcloud and your favorite podcasting platform including spotify it's dangerous to go alone i have a sword now <laughs> you have a sword now nice <laughs> and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit and if you want to support this work you can comment subscribe follow share uh, on youtube and bit and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership aside from that gang uh thanks for being here nice haul gotta leave feedback for the seller positive feedback five stars all around it wasn't his fault regarding ebay's global shipping program ripper hell yeah julian assange comic book that we will be reading right awesome 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 and thank angelo uh, uh for us um, ripper i hope uh i hope you will like my stumbly reading and pronunciation of words and he's got some spanish here so it's going to be like crazy right gang i'll see you guys most likely in streams coming up towards the end of next week okay and i'll be uploading a lot of videos on bitshoot and youtube in the next few days just catching up with the uploads bye everyone and see you later brads <laughs> Bye, everyone.